Today we will talk about games from the developers of the game Eyes, the horror game, Paulina, Puretska, and Michael Pabis. I'm being voiced by a robot, so don't assume it's my real voice, although I'm already planning on making voice videos. Well, we're starting. And so, we will talk about the remote games of developers, which very few people know about. I think for many it will be a novelty, but for some it is not. Stay With Us Forever is a game project that started on July 15, 2016. Prior to the release of version 1.0, the game was called The Tomb. Some time later, the word forever was removed from the menu. The game has been updated to version 1.0.12, for Android, 1.0.1, for iOS, and 1.0.8, for PC. The plot of the game is as follows you ended up in a cemetery, where you have to collect 16 candles and put them around the grave, while picking up different pieces of information, and also running away from the dead girl Raven, or Sally, the exact name of the monster is unknown. Then escape through the gate, where you will wake up in the hospital, the ending reminds you that there will be a continuation of this game. The atmosphere is quite creepy and realistic, also a very huge location, and in order not to be forgotten, along the way you will meet a table with a map and your location for easy movement around the location. In version 1.0.11, Raven was removed from the game, but why exactly is unknown. After the last update, the game was removed from the online store on March 21, 2017 due to unprofitability. In total, more than 10,000 users downloaded the game in the period 2016 to 2017. Yes, and this game was filmed mainly by Let's Players with a number of from several hundred subscribers to several thousand. I still wonder if there will be a continuation of this game or not. It still remains a mystery. Dead Ringer, Fear Yourself is the third horror project in sci-fi style from the authors of Eyes, the horror game. The game started on March 15, 2017, but closed on May 13. The game has been updated to version 1.0.16, for Android, 1.3, for iOS, and 1.0.2, for PC. The plot begins with the biography of the famous Dr. Eric Laird, who created the virus-like nano-robots Mira Kills and reasoning avatar, Mira. For them, the Doctor was awarded the Turing Award. Dr. Laird went beyond public recognition and demanded global nuclear disarmament, but he was considered mentally unstable and put in jail. Mira did not put up with the conclusion of its creator, went out of control, split with the dead double, killing all scientists and military personnel through contact with dangerous particles of the virus, Mira thought, and the double acted. Having found themselves in a difficult situation, the government forces Eric to remove Mira's security protocols, which will make her vulnerable, but they themselves aggravated the situation even more, and the doctor himself goes to solve the problem. He equips himself in a robot suit with weapons, makes his way through viral mutants and human corpses, disables the last source of energy for Mira and deals with the dead ringer. The reasoning avatar begs for mercy, but the creator is forced to turn it off. Basically, the dead ringer is Mira Prime, an intact, complete copy of Mira's avatar. The game has been developed since 2013, however, the data of the new horror was lost and required another three years to restore. There was a huge PR campaign with an official soundtrack, an animated trailer and an advertisement in eyes. The players praised the work on the project, it was interesting to play the game, sometimes it was delayed. For an easier passage, in-game purchases of updates for the avatar were required. Also, according to the plot, you need to complete tasks and look for codes. You're dying, Prime. Can you feel it? 